like we said, uh, slowing things down, being patient. Uh, I think the Skyhawks are, are very good uh, when they when they control the ball, get the ball inside, move it around. Um, and, and I thought they, they were trying to go maybe a little too quick at, at times in that first half. They are coming out with the lead, so that's got to be a plus. They can definitely build on that. We know how good of a second half team they are. And here's Anderson to Johnson. Anderson Johnson, Baines, Crouch, and QB. The five that started the game start the second half. And Crouch looking to get off where he left off and misses that three just long, just a little too strong off the back iron. And Francis, Moody, Zabas, Whitfield, and Council are the five for the A's. And then the five that started the game. And here it is, Baines in transition on the fast break, gets fouled and will head to the line for two. Good heads up play there from Anderson, grabbing the rebound, pushing it right away. Well, absolutely. Bain getting a, Bain's getting out in front there. A, a little surprising that they, they weren't able to get the block. Um, but, uh, but a very nice play there by Cedric Moody. Uh, uh, we talked about the smart foul taken by Eric Kiwi in the first half. Uh, smart foul there. Baines' first attempt rims out. He's still struggling from the line. This is right here. This is the crucial moments. Those free throws are very important. It doesn't matter what time of the, during the game, you need to make these free throws. Second one is too strong. Two misses at the line uh, seven for of Baines. Here's Council in transition to Moody, who's open for the three, but that one's well short. And Crouch pushes it up to Baines. Baines, who goes up, misses that one and will head to the line for two more. He's very angry with himself, thought he should have made that one. Yeah. I thought he should have lobbed it to Kibi. The, uh, the second time in a row, Baines comes down the court uh, with almost a breakaway and comes away with nothing, uh, and ending up back on the line. Uh, and so uh, it, it'll be interesting to see he has had problems at the line, so he is uh, a little frustrated to get right put now. there, yeah. He ends up actually on the ground in both, both, uh, both fouls that he took, the hard fouls, and uh, get, finally gets one to go here at the line. He must be uh, getting uh, really tired of the Brampton A's. Yeah, <laughs> makes both of them on this trip and extends the lead to four for the Skyhawks. 11.05 left in this third quarter. It's still early. That one looked like a, maybe a carry by Zabez, but yeah. no call. I saw that. Skipping down the court. Francis pump fakes on the three, goes in, finds Zabez in the corner. Short corner jumper, no good. Rebound taken by Jermaine. Jermaine to Anderson. Anderson will bring it over, to the, over the timeline quietly. Bats down on Council. Backs down, puts up a tough jumper, but gets that one to fall. And he got Anderson, hit too. Anderson has that in him. Sometimes looks like he forces jumpers, but gets them to go. Absolutely, a, a bad jump shot shooter, like a like a J.R. Smith, <laughs> but but very good, uh, very good if you can get him, and he can. And here's Moody on Baines, swings it to Francis. Francis, and a fouls on Kibi. Kibi just got beat there by. Uh, quicker feet by Francis and fouled him trying to get back and uh, I, I don't think he's gonna be very happy with that foul uh, having uh, quicker feet having Francis uh, have quicker feet than you I, I don't think is the the designed outcome uh, uh, for a very tall and lanky guy like Francis. and here's council but that's stolen away by Kibi who is fouled by Francis Sloppy play early on in this second half. From uh, from both teams, uh, a few fouls on both sides, and, and you're gonna have to wonder uh, uh, with all the fouls. I mean, we're, we're barely two minutes into this. We've already had four fouls. Uh, if, if fouls start becoming a factor for either of these teams, and here is Baines. Baines met by the smaller Moody. I think he should take care, uh, advantage of the matchup. Instead, they go inside to Kibi, who has the bigger Whitfield on him, goes but misses that tough turnaround layup off the glass. And Council in transition. They give it to Francis. He gives it to Moody. And we got a foul. Foul, foul on Jermaine Johnson. He doesn't like that call. We got a substitution for the A's. Scotty Harrelson will check in. And Zavas will take a breather early on in this third quarter. Just under 10 minutes left. And, uh, and, and a good... Uh Good start to this quarter for the Skyhawks. I, I think uh, they're going to be very happy with their effort so far, but um, uh, but definitely uh, definitely some improvements still need to be made. Uh, Brampton being able to get shots pretty easily. So. And here's Francis. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Moody, Kibi all over him. Good, Good defense. defense by Kibi. Moody still gets it off. That's an air ball though, and it's a shot clock violation. 
That's what we want to see. Good defense. Good 24-second defense there played by the Skyhawks. Especially Kiwi not going up on the pump fake and not giving uh, Moody any, any uh, room to breathe. Absolutely. We talked about the perimeter defense and getting in the face of those shooters. Cedric Moody, definitely one of those guys. So fantastic job from Eric, Eric Kiwi uh, getting in his face. And here's Crouch almost throws it out of bounds. And Moody uh, tips it out of bounds. And it will be Skyhawks ball on the sideline right in front of the court side seats. And, uh, and, and you saw there uh, Anderson pushing it a little. Uh, I think the Skyhawks need to get back into that. They seemed most comfortable in the last half when they were pushing the ball. Here's Crouch, Anderson, pull up three, good! Nice three catch ball, and catch and shoot there by Anderson. Crouch found him, Crouch doing everything today. Well, we talked about the ball movement for the Skyhawks. Looked very good on that trip. And answers right back is Moody with a three of his own. Crouch, nine minutes left in this third quarter, 65-59 lead for the Skyhawks, up by, up by six. Here's Crouch, finds Baines, Baines swings it. Anderson, another deep three, gets it to go! Back-to-back -back threes for Mr. Ooh, kill him. Ooh, kill him, he's he checking it. And he, uh, he had no problem uh, getting a, a bit in Moody's face on the way back after that three. Johnson with the rebound, and here Crouch looking to push. Anderson's Finds looking for Anderson it. again, another three to make it three in a row. That one's off. And the rebound is to Moody. I thought maybe he forced that one a little, a little, uh, he wasn't that open. Francis in transition, jumper's no good. Anderson on the boards. Anderson, you would hope uh, getting a little uh, a little confidence uh, from those two threes in a row. Maybe uh, maybe you can build on it and turn it into a bit of a scoring streak. Here's Jermaine. Jermaine goes left, goes up, and it goes out of bounds, and it'll be A's basketball. Jermaine just not getting the call. Yeah, not a not a great move inside there. Uh, definitely looking for that call coming down the court, but he, he looked a little unbalanced. Uh, uh, coming out of his drop step there and uh, and by the time he got to the basket I don't think he really had anywhere to go here's Council Council to Francis Francis finds Harrelson in the corner Harrelson drives high over the soaring Kiwi and gets that one to fall Crouch will bring it up for the Skyhawks 7 point lead 68-61 Crouch finds Anderson. Anderson gets a screen from Kibi. Feeds Kibi. Kibi turns around, puts it up with one hand. No good. Johnson on the offensive glass. That one off the glass. No good. Kibi's there. Kibi falls to the ground. The ball is loose. And the ball goes out of bounds. And it is Brampton A's basketball. Gotta love Kibi's hustle right there, man. This guy does not give up. That's the mentality you're looking for for the Ottawa Skyhawks. Well, uh, well, and a, a good uh, good effort shown by there uh, from all those Skyhawks, uh, getting a couple uh, second chance opportunities, just can't quite get it to fall uh, and get the points. Here's Harrelson. Harrelson, Idolet, who just checked in alongside Tipping. Here's Council. Council to Kevell Johnson. Johnson is jumper. No good. Bricks that one. Anderson gathers the rebound. And Anderson is pushing it. Anderson. He has Jermaine open down low. Too late. Couldn't find the big man. Back out to Crouch. Crouch resets the offense. Crouch gets the screen from Johnson. Crouch. Crossover dribble on Harrelson all the way. He loses control of the ball, but it's fouled. Nice cross there. He lost his man. And it will be two free throws for Crouch. And, uh, and it will be interesting to see uh, with Crouch um, getting the line here. Uh, if the Skyhawks can keep up, they, they've shot the, uh, the free throws well, uh, uh, well in this quarter. Um, after not being great in the first half, uh, it will be interesting to see if they can get back. Uh, Brampton as well, a lot of struggles uh, from the free throw line in, in the last quarter. Uh, missing about 50% of their shots. Uh, so um, both these teams uh, definitely have to improve on that if they want to be uh, big time contenders in the NBLC. Lots of talent. Uh, and so you're going to have to make shots like this. Yep, and one out of two for Crouch at the line. Still struggling at the line, the Skyhawks. Kevell Johnson backs down Jermaine. 
puts it up with one hand and gets it to fall. He was crouched. We're about midway through this third quarter. 69-63 lead for the Skyhawks. Here's Anderson. Anderson. Crossover dribble. He'll pull up and a take the three. That one's off. Adelet with the rebound. Here's Council. Council goes inside to Cavell. Cavell Johnson puts it up off the glass. No good. Anderson with the rebound. Finds his point guard Crouch. Crouch. Crossover dribble. Goes inside. Finds Kibi. Kibi goes up with the left hand. Nice gets it to go around the rim. Really, really good finish underneath the basket by Kibi off uh, a great find by uh, Therese Crouch while he was driving. Here's Council. Council traveled. Turnover. Turnover by the A's. And, uh, and you saw we, we talked about Drees Crouch's effect on this game. Has been a very proficient scorer in this one, but you saw there on that last one, uh, uh, driving and then finding at the last minute a great pass to Eric Keeney. Mistakes that are causing problems, uh, uh, turnovers, defensive lapses, things like that. Missed um, free throws. Exactly. Um, but these are all things that can be improved on. And so when you think of where uh, the Skyhawks are, are as an expansion team, that's so impressive and, uh, and something that they can build on very much. And here's Crouch. Crouch goes inside to Johnson. Johnson. Johnson crossover dribble for the big man. Hands it off to Crouch. Crouch pull up jumper. No good. Rebounded by Cavell Johnson. And here are the A's in transition. C Council stops and pops Ooh. and nails the three ball. And dropped nicely. Again, you see uh, Crouch. Uh, Skyhawks not getting back quick enough in transition D. Gave up an open look to Council and he made them pay. Here's Anderson. Anderson, one dribble inside, takes the jumper, no good. Kibi attacking on the glass. That one's no good, but it looks like he got hurt. Looks like he got hurt, but he gets up his hand. Maybe just a, a bit of a stinger in the hand or something like that, but uh, he, uh, he looks like he'll be, be okay. Yeah, they threw him a towel, but... And actually he'll... Uh, Cubs. Yeah. Cubs subs in. Cubs has been kind of quiet today. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, not having the, the effect he did uh, did last game with 15 points off the bench. But uh, still uh, still quite a bit of the second half to be played. So it'll be interesting to see if, uh, if they look to him to maybe boost them a bit uh, here in the third. And Kibi has some blood on his jersey. Oh, so maybe, uh, maybe just a cut on the hand or splitting open a, a nail or something like that. Whatever it is, it's it's pretty real. Yeah, <laughs> it it is real. Very folks. real. They they have to clean the blood off the off the floor, so that's how real it is. It is pretty real out here. We said it was going to be a dog fight. Here's Cavell Johnson to Scotty Harrelson. Almost hit his own player in the head. Cavell Johnson backs down on Baines. Turn around, floater, no good. Rebounded by Crouch, and he loses possession and it goes out of bounds. Him and Baines were battling for it. It was a loose ball. Can't blame your guys there, but miscommunication. Just talk there. Say, I got it, I got it. And you're out in transition instead. It's Brampton A's basketball. Here's Cavell once again. He goes up. This one, no good. Gets his own miss. Goes up once again. His foul will hit the line for two. Really working on the glass. Uh, absolutely. And, and we talked in the first half about how we liked Cavell Johnson's game a lot. Uh, a very athletic big man. Um, and, and he's showing it there. Can, can beat, beat his man pretty much whenever he wants to the basket. Uh, and so uh, help defense on him needs to be very, very good. Uh, so lanky as well. He uses his, uh, his length uh, very, very well. Yes, he does. And he makes the first free throw. Cavell Johnson, 6'9". So that length is coming through for him. Yeah, and, and I mean, uh, definitely not the tallest player we see in this league, but as a, as a power forward, he's just been a, an absolute beast today. Yep, and converts both his free throw attempts. Here's Crouch. The lead is just three for the Skyhawks. Finds Baines. Baines will pull up the three. Three, no good. Jermaine Johnson is there on the board. Puts it up and in. No basket. The fouls are on the floor. Before the shot. And again, uh, has not been a good night for Jermaine Johnson in terms of the, the officiating of this one. Um, it's uh, 
it, it'll be interesting to see um, uh, kind of how how he get, gets used to things. And Kibi's fingernail was the issue. That's sure what was. caused the blood. Maybe he hit his finger on, on the board, on the backboard. Yeah. Could, uh, could be one of anything. Not a fun injury, and that's not going to be fun to come back uh, of, especially if it's on his shooting head, something like that. Very uncomfortable. Johnson makes the first one. <laughs> Coach Magley, very funny. Uh, always entertaining here in the uh, in the MVLC. Second free throw is no good. Keep is getting blood out of his shirt, so he can come back in. Can't play with blood on your shirt. Cavell Johnson, strong move around Baines and hits the reverse layup. They got some time to go back there. Anderson, he'll pull up for the three. No good. Harrelson with the rebound. Zabas. Harrelson, floater. No good. Anderson with the board. Anderson pushing it all the way, coast to coast, oh. finishes with the left hand at the rim. Yeah, and a great drive there by Anderson. Uh, a little frustrated, his shot uh, hasn't been going in this half so far, but a great job uh, getting himself to the basket there. And it goes once again inside to Kevell Johnson. His jump shot's good. You love that full court press though, they should do that more often. Kevell Johnson is what's keeping the A's in this game. Absolutely, uh, has been an absolute beast uh, down low. That and uh, the A's three-point shooting, which has gone away for a bit here in the half. Baines answers right back and gets his floater to fall. Three minutes left in this third quarter. You're listening to Ottawa Skyhawks basketball on CKDJ 107.9 and streaming live on sportslive24.net. Here's Cavell Johnson once again. Another spin move, goes around this one, back out to tipping. Almost turns it over, Four tipping left. down the baseline, finds Idle. Idle has to put it up. That one gets the friendly roll. And, uh, and nice drops. little 15 footer there for the big man. He gets a very friendly bounce on the rim. Here's Crouch. Crouch, crossover dribble all the way to the hole, uncontested. And the finger rolls good. Great job splitting the D there by Crouch, and uh, he's driving the ball unbelievably in this half. Here's Zabas, looks to answer his floater, no good. Anderson with the rebound, and they're pushing. Here's Crouch, Crouch in transition, crossover dribble. Look at a reset. Two minutes left in this third quarter, 78 74. Skyhawks lead. Crouch once again, crossover dribble, goes inside. The foul's on the floor. And he'll go up actually for two free throws. He'll head to the line. Crouch, very, very aggressive in this game, and especially in this third quarter, picking up where he left off in the second. Well, and for the second time there, we saw him almost uh, split up hair defenseman. Uh, he seems very proficient at that, especially on that little pick and roll when he when he gets that double team, just splitting it and uh, and making plays for guys around him. Uh, we saw his assists early in the quarter, and now uh, we're seeing his scoring at the end of it. Look who's coming back now. Yes, Kibi and Rose will check in. Got the fingers taped up there. Hopefully that won't affect his shooting or rebounding. Crouch makes the second free throw. Kibi and Rose check in. Crouch and Baines. We'll take a breather. I think you want to see Crouch up this uh, rest of this opening, uh, sorry, third quarter, maybe a little bit in the fourth and then have him in and close your game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, probably we'll see him uh, maybe 10 minutes left in the half. Great yeah. pass there. And two-handed slam by Cavell Johnson. Big to big. Again, uh, so fun seeing, uh, seeing um, Francis play basketball. Great pass there. Here's Anderson. Anderson back out to Tubbs. Tubbs will put up a three of his own. There Gets it a fall. Bucket for Tubbs. Another three for Tubbs. Be interesting to see if that gets him going. Hopefully we can see him do some high flying action. Here's tipping. Tipping is met by Tubbs. Tipping goes up. Good defense by Tubbs, but tipping just converts. And here is Tubbs. Tubbs will bring it over the timeline. The A's are going to a full court press. Tubbs will attempt a three right oh, in Tipping's face. Wow. And nothing but net. New heat check time right there <laughs> for Justin Tubbs. 
And uh, after uh, Tiffin got that suspension, that's got to feel good for any Skyhawk doing that tonight. Kibby with a rebound, gets his go. first board after getting his fingernail uh, hit in, I guess, and bleeding. Here's Rose, another one. Tubbs, another three corner. This one is short. Offensive rebound by Jermaine Johnson. Rose will hold it. Tubbs wants that ball. He does. He wants to finish the quarter right here. Well, at least on their side before the shot clock, shot clock goes off. And T Tubbs is met by tipping with six seconds left on the shot clock. Tubbs attacks, hands it off to Kibby. Kibby goes up oh and is blocked. Goodness. It looked like there was a foul. And Tipping throws it up, gets his own miss, and gives it to Zabas, who gets it in after the uh, the shot clock, or after the buzzer of the quarter. But it looked like there was a foul there on Cavell Johnson, and no call. Refs letting them play, and the fans are giving them a piece of their mind. My God, that's two straight quarters with very weird, awkward endings. Yeah, a lot of confusion at the end of that quarter. You had uh, Kibi going up. We thought he was fouled. It absolutely looked like he was fouled. Yeah, he, uh, they, there was a lot of hang time. In the paint, favors the Skyhawks, 14 to 10. Second chance points, 9 to 3 for the Skyhawks, and points off turnovers goes the A's way, 7 to 3. And we are underway the fourth and final quarter inside the Canadian Tire Center on this Sunday afternoon in the nation's capital. And the ball goes out of bounds and it will stay A's basketball. Goes off Anderson, 12 seconds left on the shot clock. Whitfield, Moody, Council Zabas and Francis the Five on for the visiting Brampton A's. Rose, Kiwi, Johnson, Tubbs and Anderson the Five on right now for your Ottawa Skyhawks. And Council will take a three, no good. Johnson with the rebound. And Kibi goes down. He's, I think, got maybe hit in the face or something. Maybe poked in the eye. Not a not a lucky game for Eric Kibi so far. <laughs> he's been uh, he's been banged up on on multiple occasions. Already has his finger bandaged up. Uh, now looking a bit shaken up by that last play, whatever it, was, whatever it was. But he seems fine now. And the ball goes inside. Well, into Rose, who will take over point guard duties for now until we see Crouch later on in this quarter for sure to close out the game. Anderson, Anderson gets a screen from Johnson, loses footing, hands it off to Rose. Rose has three seconds to put up a shot, takes a three, nothing but the bottom of the net. Mike Rose, I'm sure the coaching staff would love to see a little more of that from Mike Rose. He's a very good shooter, maybe he doesn't do it enough. Yeah, the first ever signing by the Ottawa Skyhawks. Here's Zabas, floater, no good. Kibi goes up, climbs the ladder, and grabs that rebound. It's gonna be good to have Kibi down the stretch because he's gonna get those rebounds. He's always attacking on the glass. Big bonus there for the Skyhawks. Rose swings it to Anderson. Anderson trying to go inside to Johnson. Anderson instead drives off the one-footer. Aladrik Nowinski misses that one. Jermaine gets the Ooh. rebound and puts it in off the glass to big man from Los Angeles. Seemed like three guys were defending him on that play, but a hard move uh, getting the ball up and, uh, and in. And here's Moody. Skyhawks lead is now 12, 90 to 78. Whitfield backs down Johnson. Nice, nifty move. Whitfield's been having a good all-around game so far today. Absolutely, and again, no help for Johnson. Uh, Johnson down low, uh, left, uh, left to his own devices. A good score there for Brandon. Rose swings it to Tubbs. Tubbs drives all the way to the bucket, loses control of that one, it goes out of bounds, and it'll be A's basketball. And, uh, and a little surprising uh, there, uh, Justin Tubbs just kind of going for the drive. Um, uh, again, Skyhawks uh, very, very quickly in the shot clock trying to get plays away. And Scotty Harrelson checks in, as Zabas will take a seat, and Jerese Crouch back in the game. Ryan Anderson will take a seat. Uh, quite a small lineup in for the Skyhawks right now. Eric Kibi essentially their power forward. And here's Whitfield. He's met by Johnson. We got a foul off the ball, and the foul is on Tubbs. The ball will be inbounded on the sideline. Moody inbounds 
to Harrelson. Harrelson right away puts the three. No good. Offensive rebound by Francis. Francis, his shot, no good. And that ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Kibi. And it will be A's basketball. Maybe that small lineup hurting them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, the, uh, the small lineup, it, it seems like uh, Brampton... Uh, a little comfortable, especially down low right now, um, uh, feeding the ball down low, but a travel there. Uh, so uh, a lucky play for the Skyhawks. And quickly out of town scores. It is all over in Halifax. Uh, the St. John Millrats take that one, 121-107. And at the end of three in London, the Lightning have a six-point lead, 67-61, over the visiting Mississauga Power. The out of town score brought to you by Subway, eat fresh. And Moody gets the rebound off a missed three from Rose. 9.25 left in this fourth and final quarter. 10 point lead for the Skyhawks, 90-80. Here's Kraut. Kraut's defending Council. Council behind the back dribble, gets his pocket pick. Here's Tubbs. Tubbs in transition, oh. all the way to the hole. Goes up and gets fouled. Was going to throw that one down. Really incredible. Incredible athleticism from Tubbs there. Had three guys around him, it seemed like, all the way down the court, uh, but did a great job. Uh, unbelievable speed uh, beating all of them down a court, getting to the basket first and just getting caught from behind. Yeah, it looks like the villain A's there, they just don't want uh, Tubbs to uh, entertain this crowd with a fancy highlight dunk. <laughs> the first free throw rims out. Yeah, the, uh, the A's, such a bad team for preventing the other team to score. God. They, they need to just let us, you know, have our moments here. Tubbs, second free throw, missed as well. Too strong. The struggles at the line continue for the Skyhawks. Here's Moody. Moody swings it to Harrelson. Harrelson finds Council. Council. Here's Moody. Puts Bad up shot. a shot. Bad shot. It is short. And they got numbers. Crouch inside to Johnson. And Johnson lays it in off the glass. Great feed from Jerry Crouch, pushing the floor again. Like I said, the big man, if you don't get the rebound, you should be the first one down the floor. And Johnson did that. Point guard rewarded him. And uh, and then Johnson again, trouble getting back down the floor. And uh, and we see more points uh, for the Brant that is there. 10 point lead still for the Skyhawks, 92-82. Johnson deep two. In and out, but Kibi's there on the glass and puts it in off the glass. The hustle is real out here. And we got a technical foul on Eric Kibi for talking a bit of junk. And Whitfield and Kibi are going at it mid-court. I love it. And that'll be it for Eric Kibi's game. Uh, unless they, uh, they just sent him away uh, very quickly. Can we get a replay on that? Technical I, uh, foul. That's only his first, though, correct? I uh, I believe that is uh, is only his first of the game. Okay. But I think he got double tech. He got a tech for taunting after the made bucket, and then he got and he got and then he got a second one for meeting Woodfield at half court and talking a little junk. But Woodfield started that. It's, it's a Sunday afternoon. There is no reason to fight, guys. <laughs> Moody makes the first free throw. They get four free throws here and the ball. That's huge. Yeah. Four free throws. Absolutely. Technicals yeah. are two free throws in the NBLC. That is unbelievable. I'm shaking my head right now. This uh, And this could be uh, exactly what Brampton needs to get back into this game, especially when they get the ball back. Uh, Skyhawks are going to be uh, want to be really careful, uh, especially if, if Brampton tries to go for a three. Brampton, an opportunity to close this to a five-point game here. Skyhawks only have four... Skyhawks about to go on to the penalty kill with only and four Kibi players. And will be hitting the locker room. He's already heading to the back. He's gone. Took off his jersey. Throws his jersey as he's walking out through the tunnel. It's getting chippy out here today, folks. We do this all along. We and need a it's big, big, big blow for the Skyhawks there. Kibi's emotions got a bit too much of them. And Baines subs in. Yeah, 
Yeah, we needed his presence on the boards, and now they're going to miss that. Here's Moody after making four free throws, misses the three ball, gets his own miss. Goes inside to Kevell Johnson. Johnson on Johnson. Looks to back down. Johnson goes up off the glass and gets it to go. There's absolutely no defensive help down low. Uh, no and one. Coach, Coach Jackson is trying to talk to the referee that kicked out Eric Kibi, but he doesn't want to talk to Coach Jackson. He's still here. He's not, not happy at all with this one official. That's six points in a row, the four free throws. At Keep it going. And here is Crouch. Crouch. Let's see what the Skyhawks do after all that commotion with Kibi getting ejected. Here's Rose. Rose goes inside to Johnson, who is double teamed, and the A's come up with a steal. Coach Jackson is losing his mind. Scotty Harrelson, open three, no good. Johnson with the rebound. Hands it off to Crouch. Crouch will bring it up for the Skyhawks. It'll be interesting to see if the Skyhawks try and balance their fast play with maybe trying to run the clock a bit. Crouch hands it off to Rose. Rose. Rose to Baines. Baines right over the free throw line. Can't get that one to go. Johnson almost with the rebound. Johnson hustles back on defense to meet Cavell Johnson. Here's Council. Back out to Tipping. Tipping's three. That one is good. Money. Absolutely deadly. Down by three now. And uh, and a lot of energy, a lot of momentum on the Brampton sideline right now. Skyhawks need a lot of energy. Need, need some kind of spark to get them back going here. Here's Crouch. Crouch, crossover dribble. Back out to Rose. Rose will put up a three. In and out. That one was halfway down. That was rough. Here's Council. Three point game. 94 91. We got a foul off the ball on Harrelson. And Baines. <laughs> and Anderson had a few words for the ref there. Tell him he hit him in the mouth. The ref told him to chill. Anderson's like, I, I got you. Brian Anderson, very outspoken person on the court. Yeah. Well, and, and you can tell he's a leader. He does everything yeah. for this team, and, and he's also a vocal leader. And yeah, no, he's definitely the leader of this young team, and he does it both on and off the court. Yeah, absolutely. He, I mean, many of the players on this team, especially during the holidays, uh, involved a lot in the community, yes. uh, which has been really awesome. So uh, good job from the Skyhawks in their first season getting involved. Here's Crouch. Crouch goes inside to Johnson. Johnson lays it in. Good move there by Johnson getting open. And good pass by Crouch. Here's Council to Cavell Johnson. Cavell goes up, gets that one to go, and one. And uh, and almost certainly the Skyhawks were uh, were looking for a foul there. That, or excuse me, not a foul, but a, uh, a travel on Cavell Johnson. I, I, I think uh, I think when uh, when Jermaine Johnson jumped in the air the first time, it looked like Cavell Johnson was there as well. And Cavell converts the three-point play. Anderson inbounds it to Jermaine. Jermaine to Anderson. Anderson, a little out of control, just dribbling the ball. Holds up the three. He's open. No good. Rebound goes to Tubbs. Tubbs backs in. Goes up and gets that one to fall. And one. Great play by Tubbs. Excellent effort. Uh, picking up the rebound and then putting it up himself. Absolutely, that's good right there. Keep the lead going, keep the lead going. Don't let them come back into this game with this much time left. You got under six minutes left. Stay aggressive. That's all you need from the Ottawa Skyhawks right now. And Tubbs converts the three-point play. This is where you need to make those free throws when you get there. Absolutely, and uh, with this game so being so close right now, both these teams are not going to be happy with those misses. And Cedric Moody answers right back with a three ball of his own. Here's Anderson. Anderson will bring it up for the Skyhawks across the timeline. 5.20 left in this fourth and final quarter inside the Canadian Tire Center. You're listening to Ottawa Skyhawks basketball, CKDJ 107.9 and streaming live on sportslife24.net. Elias Salzana alongside Corey Metz and George Saliba. 
The ball goes out of bounds, but it looks like we got a foul off the ball. It is on the A's. It will stick with the Skyhawks. Fouls on Kevell Johnson. Five, three, sorry, two point lead, 99-97. Closer game than I thought. I was about to say it's a five point lead. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, both these teams scoring uh, uh, scoring with ease right now. Uh, a ton of uh, a ton of points right now uh, for both teams. Foul was actually on tipping and Anderson and one. makes it. Baseline jumper and one. Right off the inbounds play, not even two seconds off the game clock and he nails it. Well, and a fantastic call by Coach Jackson. Uh, uh, Tubbs, or excuse me, Anderson just coming across the screen set by Jermaine Johnson and a, a giant screen it is and so a lot of room for Ryan Anderson. Um, and then uh, not a good play, uh, fouling Anderson on the jumper. And Mr. Anderson converts the three-point play. Mr. Ooh, kill him right there. Just like that, five point lead now, 102-97. Jermaine Johnson, it looked like a block on Cavell, but the referees are gonna say that's a foul. A little too much contact, and uh, Jermaine Johnson's been having those plays called against him all night. He uh, uh, must be very, very frustrated. Looked like he got all ball there, or at least ball first. Uh, so a little surprising that that one was called. And Cavell's at the free throw line. First one's good. Making it when it counts. As I said earlier, both teams are going to, uh, uh, whoever loses this game is going to regret very much uh, their misses from the free throw line. Tonight. Yep. And the second one is short. The rebound is gathered by Anderson. Hands it off to Crouch. Let's see what the point guard draws up here for the Skyhawks. Crouch gets a screen from Baines. Baines gets it back. Anderson met by Harrelson. Gets a screen from Baines. There's a switch tipping on him. Crossover dribble, losing the handle. Has to throw it up. That one is short. Rebound by Crouch. He finds Anderson. Anderson puts up another three. Yes, yes that one to go. Anderson nails it from downtown. And a fantastic shot from Ryan Anderson. Missed the first. Uh, but not giving up. He's had the green light all night and taking yeah. that shot the second No time. hesitation. It's a steal by Tubbs. Tubbs is on the breakaway. Goes up. 360 oh! by Tubbs. An absolutely incredible 360 dunk by Justin Tubbs on the fast break. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Tubbs my goodness. gets up there and throws it down. Dunk gets of the year. Gets the whole crowd on their feet. Tubbs! We've, uh, we've seen with some... With the 360! We've seen some really impressive dunks this year from Justin Tubbs. But a little Christmas special there. Wow! And, uh, and a 360 dunk. We just saw the replay here. Absolutely incredible. Uh, during a game, uh, you don't see as a Mar 360 a whole lot. As Marv Albert would say, what would he say? Marv Albert would say, yes! <laughs> <laughs> Moody nails the free throw. And Rose checks in for Jermaine Johnson. Thank you, Corey. Uh, I, I, uh, I like to provide a little levity to the broadcast. They're dying. They have a nine-point lead now. After saying yes, he... Uh, I won't say that. <laughs> Seven-point lead, 107-100. 3.45 left in this game. The ball goes out of bounds, and it's still Skyhawks basketball with 12 seconds left on the shot clock. And uh, I think things are, are going well when both teams are frustrated with the referees. When both teams are frustrated, uh, you know that things are even. And here's Crouch. Crouch splits the defenders, goes all the way, and oh gets that one to go. Goodness. Crouch has been absolutely outstanding today. Just disgusting. That's a third or fourth time he split the D and made him look silly tonight. He said disgusting. That was nasty. That was... It was disgusting. That's, you can't put it any better than that. Splits the defense. He's been doing that a lot, like you mentioned, Corey. Between when the screen comes, just cutting and and between them and getting to where he wants. But really picking the spots today, Crouch on the floor. Absolutely. That that move has has worked. Uh, like I said, three or four times tonight, and uh, and uh, he's just been in control all game. It's been really impressive. Three players with more than 20 points for the Skyhawks today. Crouch with 20. Baines, 20. Anderson, 23. I think Crouch has 22 and Baines 20 and Anderson 23. So good all around scoring from the Skyhawks. 
Well, and, uh, and nice that it can come uh, from all around. You're getting it from your point guard, you're getting it from your shooting guard, and you're getting it from your power forward. All elements of the Skyhawks uh, definitely clicking, and especially here in this sport. And Crouch all the way, nice crossover dribble. Couldn't get the free throw to fall. Sorry, not the free throw, but the layup to go. And here's Moody. Eight point lead for the Skyhawks. Hands it off to Council. Council will take the three and gets it a fall. They needed that one. Absolutely, still a five point game, not close to done yet. And almost forcing a turnover from the Skyhawks there with a bit of full court pressure. Council Time right out. now is very aggressive, so he, he, he wants to win this game, absolutely. He's staying. And it's a timeout by Coach Jackson, wants to talk it over with his troops. Five point lead, Skyhawks 109-104, 2.51 left in the fourth and final quarter. Zabas just checked back in for the ace. He's on with Council, Moody, Tipping, and Tevel Johnson, the only big for the ace. Tubbs, Rose, Crouch, Anderson, and Baines, the only big for the Skyhawks, the five. Here's Rose in the corner, three, no good. Rebounded by Moody. Skyhawks need to start taking a little more time off the clock. Shots still coming way too early in the shot clock. Left. And the ball goes out of bounds off the council air ball three. As you saw in the last offensive possession for Ottawa, you saw that there, Brampton was playing the full court pressure. So you, need, you really need to, uh, you need to find out a way to get past that. And Jermaine, and Jermaine Johnson checks in. He gets the ball right away from Crouch. He goes up and he's fouled and will head to the line. Good foul. Took one to the face. And uh, and again, Jermaine Johnson, ha uh, another uh, big game for him down low. Uh, hasn't been uh, as noticeable offensively, but 13 rebounds uh, to go along with 15 points as well. So uh, an excellent game from him. Uh, really, really taking up the load. We haven't seen a ton uh, down low. Baines has been a bit more of a perimeter player tonight. Uh, so huge, huge outing for Jermaine Johnson. Yeah, that, Johnson, was, that was a big foul by Cavell, though. Johnson misses the first free throw. He needs to convert this one. Second one is good. We're getting some offense, defense substitutions from Coach Jackson here. And, uh, and interesting that he brings uh, that he brings on uh, Terrell Baines for the defensive stands, uh, but maybe he just likes Terrell Baines' athleticism a bit more uh, against Johnson. Here's Tipping. He puts up a three. No good. Rebounded by Anderson. Anderson hands it off to Crouch. 2.15 left, and it's a six-point lead for the Skyhawks. 110-104. Crouch has Moody on him. Crouch very good with the dribble. Crouch, crossover, goes in, backs up, step back, in and out. Tipping gathers the board. Nice step for the back A's. There. Here's Council, here's Council. To Tipping, swings it to Moody, roses on him. They go inside to Tipping, and it goes. He saves it from going out of bounds. Zabas will take a deep three. That one's no good. Rose gathers the rebound and hands it off to Crouch. This is where you need to, to slow just, down. Yeah, need to calm it down. A minute, 30. Five left in this game. Here's Crouch all the way to the hole, finds Anderson. Anderson loses the ball, regains possession. There you go. Rose, open three, takes it. No good, rebounded by Cavell. Skyhawks still looking for that dagger. Here's Council, crossover dribble, goes all the way inside, flips it up and over. Crouch, but doesn't get that one to go, and Anderson gathers the board. Here's Anderson with just a minute left in this game. Still a six-point lead, 110-104. One minute left. Crouch, Crouch drives in, back out, Anderson, three ball. Yes, ah, it, it go! There's your dagger right there. Onions, baby. Here's Moody all the way, and he's fouled and will head to the line for two. I think the referee bailed him out there. Yeah, absolutely. But, uh, you know, we come back, uh, and we talked about uh, in the pregame, the first thing we talked about was Ryan Anderson's efficiency. And, uh, boy, has he been uh, has he been so much better, uh, uh, better uh, tonight. Um, absolutely incredible stats. Five for ten, 50% from three-point line. 
uh, and also uh, 26 points now. Big uh, so, man. So uh, just uh, the, the performance we've come to expect. Uh, from Ryan Anderson. Yeah, man. Big man boards too. 13 rebounds right there. Leading along with Jermaine Johnson who also has 13 and 16 points. Big and numbers. And really makes the second free throw as well. So just a, yeah, an enormous double-double for Ryan Anderson in a game that was uh, that was really big for this team. After a four-game losing streak, uh, this will get them back to 500 and I, I think it's a really, really promising one. Yeah, ended the four-game losing streak yesterday mm -hmm. in Mississauga and uh, looking to bounce back the record to 500 here at home in front of the home crowd, which would be the last home game of this year. Uh, I just want to wish uh, all our listeners and viewers a happy new year as well. And the next home game won't be until the January 23rd, so a big stretch of January will be on the road, and it is a test for this young team. They've been struggling on the road, so hopefully they get some, uh, some wins on the road before they come back. Uh, to Ottawa towards the end of January and uh, and do it here. Yeah, absolutely. Easily this team's toughest stretch of the season. Uh, just an enormous road stretch for them. Uh, and so it'll be interesting to see uh, how they react to them. That those six road games are not going to be easy. Uh, and so I think uh, I think a really uh, a really good um, a really good uh, goal for this team might be to go uh, 500 over the road trip. Uh, at least get a couple wins out of this road trip to give yourself a good position before a push to the playoff starts. Yeah, and this is the sixth time they see these Branton A's currently have a 3-2 and two record against them, looking to push that to 4-2 and two and give Branton their sixth loss of the season and their fourth against Ottawa, which is absolutely unbelievable. Yeah, I mean, uh, these two uh, these two expansion teams uh, getting to know each other a little bit, and uh, boy, it'd be fun to see these teams play each other in the playoffs. Uh, I think Ottawa is uh, Brampton's kryptonite. Definitely, I think we could say that. And Anderson to inbound it. Anderson goes inside to Baines. Baines to Rose, Rose to Crouch. Looking to kill off some time, Crouch, before they get a shot off. Crouch. Coach Brandon. Magley doesn't want a foul here. Crouch killing some time off, five seconds left. Goes all the way to the hole, floater off the glass, no good. Rebounded by Moody, Moody has to push it for the ace. Moody throws it up to Kevell Johnson. <laughs> he tried to throw it down with one hand and missed it. Anderson is fouled and will head to the line. That would have been intense. Pretty, uh, pretty incredible dunk miss from uh, Cavell Johnson. Uh, Cavell Johnson has uh, has been excellent uh, in this one, um, and just just missing it. Can't couldn't quite get a handle on the ball. Um, but uh, at least the Brampton A's are still uh, still trying to entertain people here. Definitely. Is that a top five miss dunk uh, 2013 so far? <laughs> of, uh, of the rest of 2013? Yeah. <laughs> I <think> December. <laughs> First free throw is good. And it looks like this game is about finished with 12 seconds left. With a nail in the coffin right here. On the clock. Second free throw is good by Ryan as well. 115-106. With 10 seconds left. Here's Moody. Moody all the way to the hole. Hands it off to Johnson. And Johnson throws it down with two hands. Anderson inbounds it to Crouch. Crouch looks to dribble out the clock and he does exactly that. And the Skyhawks are back to 500 before the new year and they're hearing the appreciation from the crowd. Very good win. 115, 108 is the final inside the Canadian Tire Center. And they started out strong, then let the A's take the lead and they come back and uh, and win this game. What did you guys like most about the, the Skyhawks' performance today? Definitely the heat checks from most of the players. You had Crouch was crazy in the first half. He had his moments in the first, in the second quarter especially. And we got Jermaine Johnson right now. Jermaine Johnson doing his thing. That was my favorite part of the game right there. <laughs> doing that dance that he just did. The Donkey Kong dance, I guess. But uh, the, um, the hustle, Eric Keeby on the boards, I, I absolutely love his performance. And uh, I also love 
how the team leader right uh, from for today's game, Ryan Anderson performed. He was absolutely phenomenal. He didn't shoot the three point three point shot as much as as usual, which is uh, which is what I'm looking for from him. And he did his thing behind the line as well as on the boards as well, getting his double double. Yeah, I think you make a really good point in that. Uh, I think the individual efforts uh, for the Ottawa Skyhawks tonight were were absolutely fantastic. Crouch. Uh, Johnson, Anderson, uh, just, just absolutely unbelievable.